Greg Cole with Lamb Aviation. Kind of an interesting new technology that you have brought to Oshkosh for the first time. What is the product that, you've, that you're showing here this week? Uh, Lamb Aviation is a new company and we're bringing some new technology to aircraft. Fundamentally, we are changing some of the compromises that are involved in aircraft design. So we have these fundamental goals that we're pursuing with airplane. The wing needs to make lift and the wing needs to provide control. We have some new solutions for that that allow us to make higher lift coefficients, meaning plane flies slowly, lower drag, the wing is smaller. We also have some better airfoils and some other things that work together with the high lift devices to accomplish that. LAM Aviation is furthering this with some really exciting new safety enhancements. So embedded in these solutions are exciting ways to improve low speed characteristics, post stalled behavior, to create anti-spinning behavior. Can you give us in, in a non-proprietary way uh, an indication of what are some of the aerodynamics that go along with, with making an airplane more difficult to spin? Yes. So we take that as a layered approach. Okay, the LAM technology allows us to do something that we call envelope protection. So we're really limiting the angle of attack of the airplane. And with our hybrid control system, we can pick up an angle of attack sensor and then do something with it beyond providing a display for the pilot and then making him apply the corrective actions. We go to envelope protection, we go to fundamentally sound departure resistance, we go to improved control powers, and then on top of that, this would be the more difficult one to explain, but by saying anti-spin or non-auto-rotative or something, we're able to tailor the airfoil characteristics not only in the normal operating range and then in the round off near the maximum lift range, and then on the back side of the lift curve slope into this post-stalled regime, we're able to tailor those characteristics such that the plane won't have a pro-spin torque. So first of all, tell us how people could come to you and say, let's talk about putting this on an airplane that I have, and then we'll talk about certification. Certification is certainly a pathway, but that one is very front-loaded. The quickest way to entry there would be to create an experimental airplane, one where we took a certified airplane, the Columbia or the Corvallis or something like that. That plane would be lapsed out of its standard category configuration and then retrofitted with our new horizontal and our new wing. We feel, because of the way we're working, because of our involvement with the FAA and other things like that, that we could get an experimental airplane that would have very few restrictions, if any, essentially like whatever you would do in a home-built airplane. So an owner-operator flying for fun, flying for personal use, would be able to do that. Do you have plans to move beyond the Columbia range and do other types of aircraft? We certainly do. We've, we've certainly considered some other entries into the market. We would consider, as a demonstrator, you know, we want to have that more comprehensive solution, right? We made lots of changes. People ask, why did you make changes? We made lots of changes to demonstrate one end of that spectrum. Another end of that spectrum might be a retrofit, okay, to something as, as common as a 172-182. In that case, you would see smaller changes in performance, but we can still add these fundamental safety improvements like envelope protection and, and perhaps we'll have to look more closely into that. When we start from scratch, we have more flexibility. When we're modifying an existing wing, existing airfoil, we have less flexibility. And from certification experience, we would like to have our plans function comprehensively from simple to complex. Very good. Well, Greg, thanks very much for taking some time to talk with us, and good luck. It sounds like a really, really interesting product. Thank you so much. Aero TV is brought to you by... My heart was beating. I thought I was confident enough to make a safe flight. The visibility was all changing on me as I was progressing farther along in my flight. It was a wake-up call. I know that the climate drive made me a better, safer pilot. Alpha Systems AOA products are available for experimental, pressurized, and certified aircraft. President Mark Corrin notes that there is nothing more rewarding than designing a product that helps save someone's life. To see how Alpha Systems AOA technology can make you a safer pilot, check out www.alphasystemsaoa.com.